Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's endgame build, we have another special stasis setup for users to try, which involves none other than the Salvation Grip. I know many people will look at the weapon as useless, but the recent Azotic update has made the weapon function as both offensive and defensive now. This is why I want to show you an over the top titan build that uses the following weapon to its fullest, while also showing you how chaotic filling a room up with glacier landmines can be just for everyone involved. It's quite easy to use, highly effective, provides great ability cooldown rate, and allows flexibility if you want to swap out your primary and secondary for other things. So to start, we'll be using Tectonic Harvest which creates stasis shards from glaciers or frozen combatants that get destroyed. And then we have Power of the Storm where upon sliding and use your melee, you can create a wave of stasis crystals in front of you. We are going all out within the build in terms of how we are going to be creating stasis crystals and you should too, unless you have a high reason to use diamond lances as well. Using my setup will assure you to always have enough energy available to regen your selected grenade and melee type fast, on top of the mods we also have. For fragments, we then have Whispers of Shards which will boost our grenade regen rate for a short period, Whispers of Chain which will reduce incoming damage for us while near frozen targets or glaciers, Whispers of Fissures which will increase the size and damage of our shattered stasis effect, and Whisper of Durance, which will increase the slow and freeze effects that our abilities do. With the amount of glaciers being created, you want to build into this area as much as possible, so that no matter where we are, we can always regen our abilities fast outside of the use of our mods. For this, the following selected fit the style we are going for, and fragments such as shards and fissures are key to making everything stasis even more volatile to use. Think of Void of Volatile Rounds, but stasis instead, with a bigger bang to it. This is how the build will do wonders in endgame, as long as you don't overdo it for your team's sake. For our mods and stat section, having a tier 10 resilience and discipline will be most suitable to really bring out the strength of Stasis Titan. After that, you can have a tier 6 for strength, or we can invest in the front of Viger mod and go tier 7 for an easy tier 10 strength stat instead. At tier 10 for resilience, this is not only going to give us a 30% damage reduction for the given build, but it also allows us to get our battle gates up within seconds. This is going to be helpful when combined with Horfrost Z effect, as the crystal created can not only act as a shield against others, but it can also be used to inflict damage to others as well, while also giving you ability regen as well. This, when combined with our discipline and strength stat, is going to help quite a lot when combined with other mod choices to further enhance the setup more. Ideally, I recommend you have the Rally Barricade for this as it has a short cooldown rate compared to the bigger version you have. And while you're there, having bolstering destination and focusing strike should also be added for an easy 20% class ability regen via melee and grenades. If you need further help for reaching this key stat for the build, then remember to aim for a tier 7 and then add on the font of endurance mod for an easy tier 10 investment. For our discipline, how an ours at tier 7 with Fond of Focus is going to allow us to reach tier 10 very easily once we get our armor charges going. This is also going to be very important as we will be using the glacial grenades that have a high cooldown rate, but will ultimately be used to create shards for us. At the same time, Whispers of Shards on top of the current cooldown rate we have should negate the high cost the grenades provide, but also allowing us to make full use of them the best way we can think of. For the armor charges, we have Charged Up which will provide a plus 1 to how many charges we can carry. This paired with Harmonic Siphon, Elemental Charge, Powerful Attraction and Reaper is going to allow us to have a near perfect amount of charges available if we retain the flow of the build like shown. This of course then leans into the surges we are using which is a times one stasis weapon surge mod and a times one arc weapon surge mod for a easy 7% damage buff it provides. Now add on the time dilation mod for increased self buff duration and times two hamlet reserves mods for your heavy and you're pretty much set for dealing with any ending quantity you have in mind. For the weapons, we have Crate with Headstone and Substance. Um, this is one of the best legendary stasis ARs to own if you ever want to run stasis fully. Firstly, the weapon is a rapid fire frame so it's going to be firing fast and reloading fast as well at good distances. Secondly, the two following perks shown are amazing for taking out mobile targets for a very long time without even needing to reload. And at the same time, you'll also be creating tons of glaciers that can benefit your fragments and aspect choices. And thirdly, its origin trait is very powerful once procced, 
as you can get a full magazine reload upon use. Now combine that with substance and a bit of luck and you can fire this weapon without needing to reload for quite a good while. Within this build, the headstone perk is going to help with extra damage and boosting on stats once available, which I highly recommend you do the same as well. Of course, if you can't get this weapon, then there are alternatives that are good for the new players, such as the Syncompation 53 and Perseus D, two weapons that can get headstone and could also be gotten from Banshee when on sale. For Heavy, we have the Salvation Grip, which is now newly updated and a whole lot more better to use with and without stasis. The following can now be used like a normal grenade launcher, or you can switch to its more utility friendly mode for more glacial creation. It's quite an update for a weapon that saw little usage after Beyond Light release, as it was the first time for us to fully see what stasis based weapons would act like. I've been using this secondary form to not only proc its ability regen much faster with my fragments, but also using it as an offensive option against enemies and bosses alike. Now, of course, not many people will give this weapon a try, even after the update, but it's one of those weapons that are good to use if you want to have as much freedom available when doing your stasis setups. So for my conclusion on the build, I know it may sound crazy how Salvation Grip is now a good weapon, but the update for exotic weapons quite recently has allowed it to be much more flexible when paired with stasis as a whole. Its first variation was more of a utility weapon, designed for triggering your stasis fragments and aspects, alongside your abilities, which is nice on paper, but against actual targets left the user with little to offer when facing bosses or most enemies. Even using the shattered damage of the glaciers wasn't all that great to use against most enemies. Now within the second form, it can not only fire like a normal grenade launcher for actual damage against bosses, but it can also charge the weapon to form more crystals upon release. This here is where the weapon really shines, as the amount of glaciers created can surround a boss, and upon destroying them will grant you ability energy or shards if you have the right fragments on. Now pair this with a weapon that has headstone, have the glacial grenades, and have Horfoss as well, and you'll get a build where your titan can constantly proc glaciers and ability energy regen over and over again. You also have a high chance of crashing your game if you overdo it, but I'm sure you'll be fine. It's quite intriguing to see this in action, as Salvation Grip has never really been an option for players to ever want to use. Now it's being changed, I can see a few players here and there still not giving it a try, as they prefer much more hard hitting heavies instead. But for others, I can see this being added to your status of collection for really mixing things up. It's still got the utility effect built into it, but now it offers players to lean more into status glaciers and use them like actual landmines when triggered. If you're thinking, can this be used in the end game, then yes, as the secondary effect is really good against bosses, and the extra shatter damage being applied can build up over time. You also have the slow and freeze effect that stasis can proc, which is very handy against unstoppables, barriers, and even overloads, and a number of key other targets. In fact, I have used this on Disgrace GMs, and it worked a charm for all areas. Basically, what I'm trying to say is don't knock this build until you try it, as Stasis is very strong in all classes, and Salvation Grip with Stasis Titan is one of the best and most easiest way to fully see in action. But of course, it's up to you. So, what do you guys think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. But at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, I want more stuff like this than other players available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, I hope to see you again soon.